everyone, welcome back to Joan Day, the very first vlog of 2021. And uh, I honestly don't know how this year is going to be like. I don't have a specific format that I want to follow for 2021. We'll see how this goes, but ultimately, um, one of my New Year's resolutions is to just kind of let things go. I usually get so anxious when I don't have a video ready for the week or when I feel like I don't have enough content and um, I definitely don't want to stress myself out like that. So this year, I'm just going to relax a little bit while uploading the vlogs. Um, I have a lot of things I want to catch up with you guys on. And so we'll see how this update goes because my mind is going to be all over the place. But first, let's talk about 2020. It was definitely a hard, unfamiliar, and confusing time for all of us around the world. And I tried my best to keep the energy positive here on Joan Day, mainly because I know a lot of you guys looked forward to Monday to have a Joan Day, a good day. And I didn't want to ruin that because um, I know that everyone is going through something and I didn't want to send negative energy your way and so I tried to keep it very positive positive. and personally for me, I felt like I was on autopilot and I was okay with that mainly because um, by autopilot, I'm talking about my video schedules. I know how to film the vlogs. I know how to edit it and schedule it. So um, that's why I was able to upload my videos weekly. And I didn't miss a week, I think. And so there are pros and cons to this. Pros is you guys get a weekly vlog and I will feel accomplished for uploading the vlog. But the con was I felt like I couldn't be as attached to this channel. This all occurred to me while I was editing the final episode of 2020, which was a two minute, two second recap of the good times from 2020. And it was two minutes and two seconds long because it's 2020 backwards. And I just thought it was a clever, cool way to end and wrap up the year. And of course, when you watch that vlog, you're gonna be like, wow, such great vibes, very positive. But while editing that, I also thought about how difficult it was for me to film sometimes and it's really unfair that I didn't care about my mental health and emotional health and physical health during that time. I just wasn't being fair to myself. Like when Abe tested positive for COVID, it was a very difficult time for us. Like I think I cried every single day that month because there were just so many other things on top of that. And so I was miserable and it just, I just don't want to live like that. I want to truly enjoy what I do and share on this channel. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm gonna try to be a little more relaxed with my um, upload schedule here on Joan Day. Like I'm not going to overachieve and upload two vlogs a week. I'm going to set a goal and start with one vlog a week. And I am going to try to start uploading on my main channel as well because instead of uploading two personal vlogs, uh, one personal like daily vlog and a beauty review, I, I kind of like that balance if that makes sense. But I think after uploading hundreds of vlogs on YouTube, uh, I'm definitely feeling burnt out and I want to be honest about it because in my vlogs, not a lot of you guys will know that because I'm always smiling and I'm trying to, you know, share positive energy. But when I'm not feeling 100% and good, I can't be honest with myself and you guys as well. So I don't know if that makes sense, but ultimately I just wanted to share that one of my New Year's resolutions is to not beat myself up for not um, achieving my weekly goal, I guess. And next I wanted to share some updates on what I have been up to. I did take a 20 day break from YouTube. Um, and so this feels very new to me because I haven't really 
sat down in front of a camera to update what's been going on and also I took a break from Instagram as well because I just get really addicted to my job and so that's okay but sometimes I do need a break and I think it was a much needed time off and so I did spend time watching YouTube videos and scrolling through Instagram but I didn't focus much on content creation um, I did vlog here and there but I didn't have to edit or upload it so it was still a break um, but yeah I one I guess one of the biggest updates I have is I moved half so I'm staying in this apartment but my mom moved out and she is gonna go back and forth often but she's moving to um, closer to my grandma's and Abe is also going to be living with her because it's close to his hospital where he will be working and of course knowing me I did document the process of the move so when the movers came to help move the furniture um, organizing the new apartment furniture shopping for this apartment as well because I did have to switch things out I got rid of a TV so now my living room looks totally different and I will get to that later but yeah ultimately um, it was a very busy couple of weeks but it was a good time off um, even though I did vlog it's still okay like I really enjoyed that uh, so yeah I will be inserting the moving clips here now so this is my current living room situation. We're going to be moving this shelf, this couch. We're going to keep the other two, but we're going to move this one over to that apartment. We have a bunch of boxes over here and some blankets and whatnot. So we have movers coming over right now, so they will help us out. The movers are currently on their way up. Um, we have a bunch of boxes by the door so that they can start with these and my mom's room We're also going to move the vanity the bed and so I'm gonna have this space as well So I'm gonna try to figure out what to do But yeah, um, let's start moving furniture shops so I need to get a new bed table vanity some shelves so we're just gonna look around today check out this mirror it's so bedazzled Whoa. Each of these shops, they have like this special maze inside. It's so big and there's like a lot to see. So yeah, we're just taking our time. We decided on this table. It comes with the chairs as well as the bench. Super cute. I think this will be perfect for the living room. We decided on this vanity. Really like the compartments. 
And look at this. They have a space for my hot tools. We're gonna go with this one. All right, we successfully bought two furnitures today and we wanted to walk around and look for this spot. They filmed Parasite here. This is where Park Seo-jun and Choi Woo-sik had Soju and that's when he got the job. So yeah, I just wanted to see this. Now let's go home. Thank you guys for coming furniture shopping with us. It's been a few days since we went furniture shopping and today our table for the living room is going to arrive. We're thinking about putting it right here. I'm very excited to change up my living room space. just left and they finished assembling everything in less than 30 minutes they're so quick and check out my new table and we put the couches on the end and now we have this big table a bench the chairs and I am loving this new look good morning everyone I am currently waiting for a delivery and it is a brand new bed as you can see it's empty on this little corner right here I went to Muji and decided to give my bed an upgrade because I've been using the same one for like five years now so yeah they should be here any minute now they just ring the doorbell let's put the little mask they call me Mr. Tibbs I got the instructions and some extra tools for my brand new bed. He actually assembled this within 20 minutes and it looks so good. It's like the perfect tone for my current room. Yay! I know that was a messy update, but basically I stayed home for a majority of my time off from YouTube and social media. There are two reasons. One, because of the COVID cases going up and two, it's super cold out now. So I have just been home and staying safe and warm and I guess cleaning my apartment, organizing and moving furnitures from one place to another. So I've been very busy with the apartment and I will share the tour with you guys later on this year when it's ready because I am still waiting on my fridge, a shelf and little things here and there. So yeah, that's it for today's update. I hope you guys are having a great start to 2021. I know I did mention in the beginning of the vlog that I don't have a format for 2021, but I do have a lot of exciting things planned for this year. So stay tuned for that. Um, a lot of cool projects coming your way. And yeah, ultimately, I just want to thank you guys so much for um, the love and support that you guys have been showing me. Um, so many of you guys have been understanding of my 20 day break. And also a lot of you guys have been sharing messages saying that you guys missed Joan Day. And thank you for missing Joan Day and waiting for this update. Um, Fighting everyone and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Have a Joan day.